right, good morning everyone. It's 7.15, um, currently 35 degrees on my thermometer. And it's nice and windy this morning. Uh, but last night was good. Nice and warm in the tent. No, uh, nothing to report, I guess, on last night. Except right? for you thinking... Except I thought I heard some mice, but no proof, so it was just my paranoia. Just, yeah, just you. And people. <laughs> All right, what are we doing today? All right, so we're looking at doing 14.5 miles. Uh, we have uh, 1,170 feet of ascent and 3,960 feet of descent. We'll be leaving Passage 1 today. And going to passage one out of 43. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 42 left. And hitting uh, passage two, which is like Canelo Hills. Um, but yeah, we can give some more information on that later. Yeah, it's going to be an easier day on my legs than yesterday. Yeah. That was a little rough yesterday. Yeah. You got anything? No, nothing. Nothing today? Nothing on the, the dad pun list yet. <laughs> All right. Checked. Well, let's get moving because. It's cold. We're about 0.6 or so miles uh, from completing the first passage. I'm going to show you in the background right here uh, the Huachuca Mountains. So the word Huachuca comes from a uh, later Indian tribe, uh, the Sabapuri. I'll put it up here. <laughs> Probably butchered that. Uh, they, they used it in describing their village at the base of the mountains. Um, it is usually translated as place of thunder, a notable feature of summer months in this area. Oh. And then the army named their base after it as well. You got Fort Huachuca just to the east of here. All right, so we are 11.7 miles into the day, about two and a half miles into the uh, second passage. Um, we're getting water here at Parker Creek. So Parker Creek gets its name from a gentleman named William Parker, who's from, he was from Tennessee. On his way out for the Gold Rush era days, he uh, passed through this area and uh, loved it so much that once he was successful in his gold mining career, he brought his family back here and uh, they had settled down here. Um, 
earlier in the day we were on top of this hill that was overlooking uh, this lake that I'll show you right now. Um, so that lake is also named after uh, Mr. Parker, but there was a gentleman named Jim Hathaway who lived there and he had a ranch and uh, unfortunately he was gorged to death uh, when he was wrangling his uh, cattle up. Um, that was like in 1954. Uh, in 1966, um, the Arizona Game and uh, Wildlife decided to dam this creek and create a lake, which then filled up the area. And so uh, Mr. Hathaway's ranch is underneath the lake now. So we made it to camp. Um, we already got all set up. That's our spot for the night. It's kind of tight in here. We're all making dinner. And then Rob's back there behind the bushes. Um, it's 4.30. I don't know if I already said that, but we got here about a half an hour ago. And what did you say? 53 degrees? Yeah. And it's like 53 degrees out right now. It's a little bit windy, but not bad. It's been overcast all day today but the hike was pretty good. What do you guys think about the hike? No sunscreen today, I loved it. Yeah, I thought it was a good hike. Um, the overcastness doesn't really help for videoing, but I don't know, I thought it was a good smooth day. Yeah, it was pretty easy, pretty chill. Nothing really of note. Yeah, it was relaxing hiking day after yesterday. Easier than yesterday, for sure. Ready to eat my spaghetti and meat sauce. Yeah, I'm having one of my new favorites, beef stroganoff. What are you having, Rob? Uh, home style chicken and rice. That's a good one too. All right, do you guys got anything else? Otherwise, I'm gonna peace out for the night. Uh, peace out. I want to say thank you to Monica for supporting Ooh. the challenge. Uh, ch challenge <laughs> for supporting the channel yeah the arizona trail challenge <laughs> anyway to extreme extreme hiking all right anything else no, no i need to calm down <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll see you guys tomorrow that um Fuck, break on right now. And I'm falling down.